apparently, <clears throat> apparently, there has been a boneless chicken wings debate, which that guy, whose name is Andrew Christensen, who's from Lincoln, Nebraska, went to city court and he asks that the restaurants remove the term boneless chicken wings from their menus. As he says, they're just chicken tenders. So I got a video here for you to see if you agree with him because of course, Buffalo Wild Wings highly disagrees. So I'm going to bring you that video right now. First and then Jane, and then you, okay? I promise I won't take up too much of your time here. My name is Andrew Christensen. Uh, I live at 1212 Twin Ridge Road. Lincoln has the opportunity to be a social leader in this country. We have been casually ignoring a problem that has gotten so out of control that our children are throwing around names and words without even understanding their true meaning and treating things as, as though they're normal. I go into nice family restaurants and I see people throwing this name around and pretending as though everything is just fine. I'm talking about boneless chicken wings. I propose that we as a city remove the Excuse me, I'm trying to... Yeah, excuse me, sir. I propose that we as a city remove the name boneless wings from our menus and from our hearts. These are our reasons why. Number one, nothing about boneless chicken wings actually come from the wing of a chicken. We would be disgusted if a butcher was mislabeling their cuts of meats, but then we go around to pretending as though the breast of the chicken is its wing. Number two, boneless chicken wings are just chicken tenders, which are already boneless. I don't go to order boneless tacos. I don't go and order boneless club sandwiches. I don't ask for boneless auto repair. It's just what's expected. And then number three, we need to raise our children better. Our children are raised being afraid of having bones attached to their meat. That's where meat comes from. It grows on bones. We need to teach them that the wing of a chicken is from a chicken and it's delicious. I propose that we rename boneless wings in the city of Lincoln. We can call them buffalo style chicken tenders. We can call them wet tenders. We can call them saucy nugs or trash. We can take these steps and show the country that where we stand and that we understand that we've been living a lie for far too long. And we know it because we feel it in our bones. Thank you. And as you can see, Buffalo Chicken Wing, Buffalo Wild Wings, excuse me, has tweeted, if he announces that he's incorrect, then we're happy to hook him up. Then Anderson Christensen replied back, that is just no distraction from the real issue. They aren't wings, and that's the truth. Now, I know that some of you might disagree with me after finding this out on Google. And I found this article that says the same thing. And I didn't even have to click on it because it says that's because boneless wings are not wings at all. They're typically formed for, from breast meat and are a spinoff of the breaded chicken nugget. And... Uh, I kind of highly dis disagree that they are just a spin-off of the breaded chicken nugget. I highly disagree because if you want an actual boneless wing, then there I have it. And I have eaten boneless wings before. So, yeah, that's probably it. Let me know in the comments below, I guess. But I highly disagree that they are a breaded chicken egg.